Hi guys. Ego kula sinzi. Guys, nako nako mbikula mo. Uba, uisu sinzi. Guys, you should know the hassle we go through to shoot these videos for you. It's yeah. It's a, it's a snap time for some people, <laughs> but they had to be here. Yeah, so with that being said, please subscribe to my channel. That will help me a lot. Share my videos if you like my content. And yeah, welcome. Hi, how are you? My name is Peace. <laughs> my name is Peace. Welcome to my channel. Here we talk about motherhood, all things marriage, uh, lifestyle, and we have fun doing it. Uh, I share from my experience or from my point of view. Uh, I am no expert. I just share. My opinions and this is a safe space so we are allowed to speak our mind <laughs> so yeah welcome in this video i'm gonna be talking about the unspoken realities of marriage well my realities <laughs> or generally when i say realities it all comes uh, about like you know expectations and that and i've shared a few of the things on my channel but uh well unspoken is uh, is one word that uh is trending and i think i wanted to relate it to uh context of marriage and uh, i think i'll in the future or videos to come i'm gonna be inviting uh my, one of my friends friends because uh more than one uh to come and join me on the channel we shall be sharing a few you know Keep giving keeping it real keeping it a hundred because on this channel i pride myself to you know keeping it real and uh sharing my experience telling you the things you think they don't tell you or we don't talk about i'm here to share that with you so moving on to the first well let me see i will be sharing six real quick i want to explain a lot because you i i believe you're above 18 and if you are married you know what i'm talking about if you are not this is what is the reality or the unspoken reality of marriage one marriages have seasons it's just not a series of only happy moments only happy things yay happily ever after if you think that is what you are looking for then don't get married <laughs> but yeah um the days it will be hard the days you will annoy him he will annoy you the days you feel like what am i doing uh, there are days you're like is this is this for me really <laughs> bridgerton really yeah those days but again the good days Ooh, when just those good moments when you're in sync when you're doing you're, you're doing things together when the family's happy when the baby's healthy when you're all healthy when things are going as planned when you're understanding each other when those days gotta celebrate them yeah so that is a reality that it's just not only the happy times, the hard times. I feel like there are as many as the good times, but the good times always win. That's why we stay married, yeah? <laughs> Next, marriage needs surgery, not band-aid. What do I mean by that? You cannot just koro sa. You know, like if it's a wound, you like put in you know, a plaster, you put like band-aid and then you're hoping that will heal and then the scar will go no surgery get to the roots get to the roots of the problem get the roots of the disease get the roots of any conflict get to the roots of what is bothering you i feel like that is unspoken of go i mean you know yes there are ways if you have watched my videos if you have been around by the way hi if you've been around uh, i'm sending you hugs hi fam and if it's your first time please click on the subscription button to join the family so we can you know get to know each other and stick around join the family kwihangana is i feel like it's misused sometimes in our society or you know growing up yes it is true but again uh you cannot just that's why i'm telling you that when you master your form of communication with your partner then you will know where when to do the surgery how to do the surgery what techniques do you need to do the surgery <laughs> not just yeah don't do it unprofessionally you end up uh, killing somebody well, i mean the marriage but yeah 
So you, you get to master the tricks, the tactics, the, the ways, the hows, the you know of your particular marriage because, um, I mean, it's just wired for just the two of you. So when you know the system, you know the way, you know what kind of knives you need to use to do, to perform the surgery, what I mean, like have the deep conversations is really, really important in marriage. Kurenzaho, it doesn't help nobody. It just hurts you and, and in the long run hurts the marriage too. And, uh, you know, not airing out your feelings as much as we say it's not good to like rush into like, you know, you got to control yourself. But again, I'm not saying shut up. I'm not saying do not say anything. I'm not saying, oh my God, if you're like, oh, that, you know, yere, 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 you're going to drive away your man. No. All I'm saying, master the technique of the surgery, master the way you, you communicate and make sure you do have the serious conversations. Yeah. <laughs> Unspoken reality number three. Am I supposed to say this on camera? But I... <laughs> Sometimes the unspoken reality of marriage, sometimes doing the do's will feel like work. We get excited getting to the journey like oh my god we're gonna have so much fun we're gonna you know yeah yeah pg please <laughs> parental guidance but sometimes you just feel like it's work i know but that's a reality let's move on from that you know when they say you cannot go to bed angry reality is you will go to bed angry most of the times <laughs> God, please do not go to bed. But the reality is, you will go to bed angry most of the times. Okay. Next. Those cute little habits that you loved so much about your partner, that he loved about you, that you loved about him, sometimes be the source of problems. <laughs> those, you know, those little habits, those things you feel like, oh, sometimes, uh, yeah, in, the reality is in marriage, sometimes they be like, <laughs> okay <laughs> next unspoken reality they say in marriage it's a partnership a hundred percent but and then they say you gotta do you gotta give in 50 50 it's never 50 50 nah it's never 50 50 either one is giving 70 30 and then sometimes one is giving 100 zero and then sometimes other person is giving 40 60 I don't think there is a time where you give 50-50 or both of you give, okay, well, we are thriving or we want to give 100-100 each of us. But the reality is to be on that same level at the same time, sometimes it's in, our, it's, it's in your dreams. <laughs> it's in your dreams. Today, he's the perfect partner and you're the one with issues and you're like, oh my God, I peace you're gonna do better like when he's on his a game he's da -da -da, doing his thing like being the perfect husband and father and for you there slacking and then by the time you feel like you want to now pull up no no you get to his level yeah he also slacks or yeah go see by the time you want to catch up with him he's yeah even like even the little things like chores or anything 50 50 who told you next <laughs> and the other thing the unspoken reality of marriage is marriage will teach you how to shut up. So na kumvuga, I know how to talk. <laughs> Babes, I do shut up sometimes. Not check up. Yeah, marriage teaches you. Those who know me before, like anything, you just offend me a little, I will tell you and then tell you your other. <laughs> yeah, but now you get a respect. You gotta shut up when you have to shut up please it is important i know they tell us you got you gotta stand up for yourself you gotta you know voice your your, your, your ideas your problems da, da, da. do not let someone you know like you but the truth is you gotta shut up sometimes yeah marriage will teach you when to humble yourself yeah <laughs> So yeah, uh, I wanted to keep this really short. I hope it's short. And thank you for watching. Those are some of the unspoken reality of marriage. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Share my video. And yeah, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. And I'll see you next time. Bye.